So that means the thumbnail is going to be awful on that. Well, why did you do that and then throw the camera at me? Where'd my other glove go? Is anybody on there? No. Okay. Just waiting on for some people to show up. Oh, one person's here. Who's here? I am going to. Annette Parsons. Hello. And we have Amy Zellers. Yay, Amy. Glad you could make it. So, before I even get started here, I am going to clean out my bobbin case. And Terry Rowers here. Hey, Terry. So, I just take a vacuum and vacuum out. Amy says she cleaned her machine today after work because it was dirty. I've already got a purple needle in there. Mary Hensey, yay, I cleaned my machine out today. Yay, it yay. must be machine cleaning out day. <laughs> I usually do a good vacuuming before each before uh, each thing. Like when I before I start quilting, I do it. And so right now I'm putting in my swing plate or my zigzag plate, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that way I'm going to be doing a decorative stitch. Show on... how you um, label the plates in case. Oh, yeah. It's, it's always good to label your plates in case you get confused of what to use when because uh, it is confusing. That's been a topic on our M7 group. Linda Olson's here. Yay, hey, she Chicago. found us. Um, so, so I call this the swing plate. This is used anytime you need the needle to go back and forth. Um, any zigzag decorative stitch, it has to have this plate in there. Um, so I call it the swing plate. You'll hear me refer to it as the swing plate. I'm going to put my bobbin in, which is a Janome bobbin. It's blue. It doesn't mean it's anything special. They just have blue and pink ones, and we, they had them on sale, and we got them. Um, I'm using bottom line uh, in my bottom thread, and I am using Maxi Lock uh, black thread in my top. I've got my machine locked out and I have got my VD foot in here which is a skinny walking foot that is an extra purchase with the M7. VD is written right there. It also has an ED uh, attachment. You can pull this out and put the ED in there for a zipper foot. So if you need a walking foot zipper foot that's your, that's the business. Um, I will go right here on my screen and hit the squirrely looking thing. I'm going to hit quilt and I'm going to hit this down to number 20 and I have it saved as 2.8 and 9.0 are my settings on that. As you see, they're yellow. They're my favorite. That means I have changed them. They are my, that's my favorite stitch for that. So anytime I do binding, I just touch that and it's already saved for me. William so McCarthy, hi girls. That's got to be that's Greg. Greg. <laughs> Trying to trick us with a, with a name. Mary Hensey says she loves using her VD foot. Uh, before I even forget, I'm going to go ahead and attach my, uh, my label, label here. Good Lord. How many times I got to turn the quilt? Um, I don't need it on the zigzag yet. Uh, I mean, on my decorative stitch. I just want to get this on and secure it down. And if I don't do it now, I will. I will forget. So that's that. So now I'm going to how she did it. Yeah. Yeah. Now I'm going to go back and do that again. So I'm going to go on this. I'm going to push quilt. I'm going to go down the number twenty, and. I've already got it programmed in there. So here's my binding. We start off with a two inch binding 
and it gets double folded and um, we have a machine that does that for us here. Mary Henty says, speaking of labels, have you found a new place to order from? I'm down to three left for projects. Oh, no. Um, no, I have not found any that um, is comparable to the price and the quality that I got from China. So um, I'm sure there's other people out there that do make some. Um, I, haven't, I haven't looked, honestly. Um, I will say that I normally uh, search my quilts before I bind them, but today has been nothing but a rush, and um, I did not do that, which I'm not going to like myself for that. So here is... Tell the, why you do that. People are going to be like, why? Yeah, I do that just so I know that my quilt is all smushed together and my binding just has to fit real nicely in here. Um, you have to fool with it less if you bind, if you surge, surge it first. So here's the top right, right corner of my quilt. I usually start on the right-hand side. It doesn't matter where you start, but... I usually start on the right hand side a little, not halfway down, but part way down. Um, so we're just going to take our binding and stick it in here. This is how I first do it. I'm going to just squeeze this in onto here and I'll use my wide mouth clips. OMG, where are my wide mouth clips? They're always on the side of my thing, but I'm telling you, I've been doing all this bag making and um, everything is discombobulated right now. So I'm just gonna put it right there. Real life sewing, y'all. Yep. That's all that's about. I'm gonna, I do not clip my binding the whole way through. What I'm doing is just getting it started here. And I've got about six inches or so that I am gonna leave unsewn for now. So I will start mine right here. Okay, um, and I do have a binding video up if you want to go and watch that later, but I do tweak a little thing. I do tweak and do things a little differently sometimes. So, um, so first I want to bring this over here and out of the way of that clip. And my, my, I, I'm always making sure that my quilt sandwich is in the middle of my binding that my binding is on both sides of that. And um, the, to very, very start this at the very beginning, I'm gonna needle down and needle up and pull that bottom thread through and put my needle back down. And now I'm ready to start. So I'm gonna just always make sure that I have my binding my quilt in between my binding and that nothing is and that nothing is uh folded, folded up underneath. underneath there jean show me a coke and so i also have my uh my machine to where it lifts up yeah but i don't want to do that so i'm gonna make it to where the needle stays down and uh everything stays in place when i stop to rearrange so I am also using my Martelli quilting paddle um, to help move the, the quilt through the machine. Also, I do want to go and override this to make it uh, be on the, have the dual feed feature on my decorative stitch. So I'm gonna go and hit this and I'm gonna put manual full dual feed setting on and that's gonna allow me to have my uh, dual feed going while, while it's in a decorative, decorative stitch. stitch. So the only thing I'm doing, and your quilt moves uh, easier when you do that. The only thing I'm doing right now is keeping the edge of my VD foot on the edge of my quilt sandwich and binding. Um, so all I, I'm just gonna straighten out my binding about every five, six inches. I just make sure that the, it's in between there. And that's the only thing I have to worry about. 
I know I'm using black on black, so it's not going to be that. I'm, I'm going to show them right see. now. See, there's the binding. There's the stitches. Okay. So, um, I don't know what this loose thing is. And also, like, I'm having some threads here and there. Um, you won't have that if you serge your quilt. So I'm just going to come down, um, we're coming down here on our first corner, and this is nicely getting... Amy says, this method mesmerizes her. Margo <laughs> says, hola, hey Margo. Um, I'm so glad to see. Now see, here's the back of the stitch, um, right there. So as you can see, it's catching the front and back equally, and you don't have to worry about it missing. This is a tried and true method. I have uh, tweaked done and tweaked. Hundreds of quilts this way. Yes. So I'm coming down here to the bottom. This, um, this stitch starts on the left-hand side and it makes a full, um, it goes to the right and to the left and that's a full turn. So when I get down here towards this corner, I'm gonna push my stop button and um, it's gonna stop, it's gonna finish the, the stitch that it's on and then it'll go in place three or four times and um, then we'll, it's a locking stitch and then we'll cut it off and take it out and I'll show you how to do your corner. So we're coming down here, coming down here. I'm gonna push it now and it's gonna stop and do this locking stitch and I'm gonna push the scissor button and now, I've got this all the way done down here to the corner. I've caught my label. Uh, I'm going to just cut off these two little tails that the machine gives you. When it ties stuff when it, off. Yeah, when, when you have pushed the scissor button. And so I'm going to turn this and face it towards me so it's easy to handle. I'm going to put my thumb in between this binding. I'm going to put my thumb up here, put my fingers here. And I'm going to just guide this to where it's my sandwich is right in the middle of this binding again. I'm going to clip it right here and just make sure that my corner looks good. Um, let's see. I think it looks pretty daggone good. It looks good on the back. Let me just... I know it's hard for you guys to see with this black, but... Well, whenever she gets done, um, there, there you go. There, there's the corner. So, okay. It's a easy, so, you don't have to work all day at getting a corner done. I'm going to just clip this to hold it for a second. And what I'm going to do is I have a couple ways of doing this where I will stick this underneath here, put it in position where my needle is going right in that corner of that binding. I'm going to needle down, needle up. I'm going to pull my thread. That's pulling that bottom thread up. I'm going to grab my hemostats and grab that bottom thread. All while trying not to move it. Yeah, you keep your hand really still. I have not moved anything. And now before I even touch those threads, I'm going to put that needle back down right in the same place it was. Okay. Now, I'm not going to have a rat's nest on the back of my quilt. Now, um, this is a bit a bulky area right here. So, I will take my hump jumper. Um, I have marked mine because there's two different sides here. And I want the thicker side. I'm going to set this in the back of my foot. That way, it stays level. Um... And I just prepare myself a couple clips here, and I'm gonna get those threads out of my way. And I'm gonna uh, put my presser foot down, and now it's ready. Now I'm gonna get my paddle in place because that's gonna help me push through. And I'm just going to start it. And, and now see how that jumped out? That's fine, and when that jumps out, I usually stop and make sure that my my foot is still engaged in the back here. Sherry, if you could 
A lot of people don't know what I'm talking about when it comes disengaged back here. Can you, I don't I'm know if you can to... see. This little silver part comes undone sometimes. So that, that is what makes your foot walk. So you wanna make sure that that is still engaged and just keep it moving. Now you're gonna go about every six inches and stop and just make sure that you've got everything in here correctly. Make sure you don't have any threads. And don't worry about those threads. She's gonna bury them later. Yeah. So now I'm just gonna keep going along the sides here. Um, can you see when people are talking, Sherry? They're not talking. I do see sometimes when, but the comments aren't staying there. Let's see if I can. Is it like Facebook? This is our, literally, we just tried this today doing a live, and we don't know anything about the chats and all that, so, um, Amy I says hope... we are mesmerized. Okay, so Amy can probably see the chat. It does go, it does go away, though. It doesn't stay. Okay, and does anyone that's watching. Gina says, hi, girls. Thanks for sharing. Hey, Gina. Gina. Margo says she loves that corner. Yeah, and I do it a couple different ways. Sometimes I start just off of the quilt with the uh, hump jumper and then go right onto the quilt. Sometimes I pull the threads up. I guess it just depends on my mood, but I do have a couple different ways. So if you watch my other videos uh, about, the, about binding on the machine binding my chat says but my view is off of course than yours i have to choose live chat and not top chat i did do that i'm wondering if uh yolanda says hello i'm so glad i found this video yeah yolanda i hey. hope it helps you welcome yolanda and uh please tell all your friends because everyone who hates 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 binding will maybe uh, start getting things done if it wasn't so cumbersome to them. Now, of course, if you're going to enter a show where the quilt police are going to be judging, um, I don't think they take kindly to machine binding, but I don't want to tell you what I think about that. But I, I <laughs> wow, know. Wow, G's holding her tongue, y'all. I know it's one thing. It's a special day. What is today? <laughs> Here's <laughs> Mark here. it down on the calendar. <laughs> Here's what I do know. I know that I would never have gotten as many things done. Uh, actually, all of us would never do get anything done if we had to hand bind. We'd have probably <laughs> 400 quilts. Um, <laughs> Margo says she's rolling on the floor. Uh, Amy says, come on, G, tell us how you really feel. <laughs> well, there's some new people here that don't know us. So, uh, Yolanda, uh, welcome, and, and uh, make sure you check out our other videos on YouTube, um, we're trying to get a, you know, more content put on there and um, hopefully help people. Mary McKenzie says she loves this method. I just think that. Um, yes, Yolanda says she's new. Welcome, welcome, welcome. That's Amy, awesome. Amy says be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because a lot of times we do things on the fly. Um, yeah, we're we're those of us, those of you who know us know we just at the drop of the dime might start filming and so if you have that notification bell uh, marked um, then you'll get notification when we start to get on here and act up. <laughs> um, one reason why I chose to do bonding this way is because I literally cannot stand when I see the line of sewing that people have when they when they are attaching their binding they they sew it on and then they flip it around to the other side and you can literally see that line of the sewing and it on, makes her nuts it drives me nuts so greg said don't worry they'll start soon <laughs> acting up i guess he's talking about <laughs> So, um, I want to know how, um, what was her name, Victoria? Yolanda. Yolanda. Oh my gosh, how did I get Victoria? Maybe there's going to be a Victoria on there. Yolanda, <laughs> I want to know how you found us, please. Uh, let us know how, how we reached you somehow. 
if it was on. And tell us if you're a quilter um, or if you're just getting interested in quilting. Tell us about you, Yolanda. A lot of people that are in here already know us and we know them, but we'd like to get to know you. Um, I'm gonna be coming down on my next corner, so I shall do it the same way. I'm gonna hit my stop button now. And if you hit it when it's down to the right, it's gonna go up to the left and then stop. So, um, as long as you stop, I mean, even if you miss and it goes a little bit further than, you can still form your corner. Amy says she wonders if any of the new people that we recruited in Florida are here and watching. I wonder, um, how many people does 16 it say? 16 people. Oh, well, we've, we've reached some people, I guess. That's good. So now I'm just gonna turn my quilt again and um, face it towards me to where I can uh, function properly. I'm going to put my thumb in here. I'm going to hold this. I'm go I kind of squeeze this part with this left hand. And then I put my thumb in here, getting it like at the halfway point. And my two fingers are right in that um, middle seam of my binding, that middle fold. And so I'm just going to bring it down and meet so that quilt is in, in between there. And I'm not worried about my corner yet. I'm worried, uh-oh, I pushed the, my foot. Um, I'm gonna just clip that, and then I'm gonna worry about this corner up here. It literally makes, makes itself. itself. Jinx, you owe me a Coke. Oh my oh. gosh. Okay, so here we go with the twin stupid stuff. Um, <laughs> so. <laughs> Yolanda, if you didn't know, we are twins. Um, and. We often we talk in stereo. So literally, I'm going to just hold that right there. I had already pushed my daggone um, foot button. I'm going to raise my foot. Um, actually, I'm going to cut my thread so I can pull that bottom thread up the right way. Okay? So I'm going to shove See how the she's holding the thread between her? See how she snuck I'm that holding in there? That, I'm holding that there. I'm going to shove this underneath here. I'm going to move this out of my way. Shove this underneath here where I've got that corner. I don't know if you can zoom in there and see that at all, Sherry. It's I've hard got, with the black. With the black, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, makes me happy to hear the twin talk again. Wait, <laughs> I didn't get to see who that was. Oh, shoot. Because I was watching say it again. your finger. Okay. Uh, Yolanda says, I type quilting videos, and I've been quilting for about seven to eight years now. My husband bought me a sewing machine. See, the, the, the things go away so fast. Huh. The comments. And then I'm going to push my needle back down. I'm going to Lucy, put my hump I love jumper. Lucy says, well, this is so cool. I just found you, and I'm so happy. Oh, yay. Yay, Lucy. How did you find us? I'm going to put my presser foot down. Oops, I oh, missed. Oh, Yolanda said she's a twin, too. Thank you, Amy. Amy is our super um, moderator here. She always catches what we miss, and she helps us out. She's a good friend of ours. She is in New Hampshire. Yes, yeah, so and um, we're in Las Vegas. I can't get my hump jumper to stay where I want it. Um, you were recommended on the side of my iPad. Oh, weird. Yay, we're somebody now. We're getting recommended. <laughs> uh, so, okay, I've got that hump jumper in there. going to put my paddle here. I'm going to form that. I'm going to start that corner. I think I'm down a little bit far on that corner than I usually am. I'm going to come down here, and then I'm just going to stop and make sure I'm arranged good. Um, I'll show you the corner. There it is. I did start that one down a little further than I usually do. Um, but guess what? It's okay. It's, it's fine. Um, and... Uh, you know, <laughs> nice burp, honey, on uh, live YouTube. Um, that was Gordo. That's G's husband. Gordo is trying to watch TV, and he's so supportive. He's We're doing this while he's trying to watch TV. So um, He can burp if he, he wants can burp. to. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, he. I'm so excited. So my rivet press that I got, he 
actually mounted it to a cart that was actually going to go in the attic because he was sick of it being in the garage. And he attached my river Amy press says too to much it. taffy. Ha uh ha. -huh. Yes, thank you so much. We we've got we got a little gift from Amy, and it had the best taffy in there. And um, that's awesome. And so Gordo's doing it, uh, eating it, and burping away. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, about my rivet press, he literally uh, attached the press to the wooden part, the top part of my rolling cart. And so I have a rivet press cart now that when I actually clean the ba the baskets out, I'm going to be able to keep uh, all her keep stuff all in Keep all my there. bag but making you stuff You guys, if, if you all haven't seen it yet, oh my God. She has blinged it out like she blings everything. <laughs> if... Those of you who don't know us yet, G does bling on everything. There's yep. the bling on her machine. And uh, she had to bling her rivet press out because she said it was too ugly to look at. Oh, my God. I just couldn't stand looking at it. It's like some industrial-looking green, which Yolanda Amy... said, I'm just finished a Halloween quilt, and now I'm going to make a Sugar Skulls quilt. Oh, cool, oh, cool. Yolanda. Well, Yolanda, I hope you find lots of... Um, help and lots of tips and tricks on our YouTube channel. And encouragement. And encouragement, yes. And it's nice to be in a community with like-minded people. Amy, maybe you can type in um, our uh, group so she could join the group. Um, what group? Well, the Martelli Quilters group and the alumni group. She's not uh, alumni. Well, I think everyone's getting in there now. Oh. So, I think. I'm not sure. Well, now you're but, speaking on stuff you don't know about? Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's, I know. Okay. Yolanda says she will. Um, Amy, Amy can help type that out. But, literally, I wish we could see the comments. I see them, and then they go away really fast. So, anybody else that does YouTube lives, can you help us out by... Telling us if we if there's a setting to know the comments. I'm afraid to push it while I'm doing it because I don't want to lose everybody. Yeah. So I'm coming down here on the what third corner. Um, I'm gonna get my. And who else feels like when they're binding a quilt that your quilt has eight corners? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you feel like oh my god, I just did a corner. Now I'm doing another one. But I mean, as you guys can see. Okay. Let me. Can you, I was going to try to show them the two strings that oh. happens when you tie it off by the machine. Yeah, when you use your scissor button, there's two little threads. I love Lucy says, so true. I love that name. I love Lucy. <laughs> I got a Margo cute. says, oh my God, yes. <laughs> yeah, we all have about eight corners on our quilts. <laughs> okay, so here I go again. I'm going to do another corner. Um... Or that, I think that was the second corner. I can't remember. So again, I'm going to put my thumb in here and my two fingers along the spine of this folded binding. And I'm going to form my corner like that. But I'm more worried about getting this quilt in the center of my binding. See how she's holding it and then she'll... And then I'll clip it. Clip. And then I'll run my fingers. I put my these two fingers like this and run this up this way, and it literally will form its corner itself. Now, as luck would have it, since I'm, I'm filming, I literally have a join of my binding right here. And so it's, can see that. it's extra thick. Um, so um, that's gonna but be fun. But the M7 can handle it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put that in there where I want my needle to go. I'm gonna drop down. And then I'm gonna put my needle up. I'm gonna hold everything really tight in place. I'm gonna pull that bottom thread up without moving anything. I'm gonna reach in there and grab that bottom thread and put my needle back down and hold my place before I ever move, okay? And- um, Did you get your bottom thread? Yeah, it's it's thin bottom line, so you oh, can't okay. see it. And then I'm gonna get my hump jumper and put it back behind here. This keeps your foot level, and so your your foot doesn't have to try to go up over Work that huge hard. hump. Mm -hmm. um, 
And I'm gonna get my paddle again. If you guys don't know what this is, it's a Martelli Quilters paddle, and it really helps move things through your machine because it has this magic stuff on the bottom that allows things we to We call move. it magic. It's, it's, it's actually called um, Get a Grip. Get a Grip. Um, if you need any Martelli products, and if it's not already on sale, you can use our code. It is in the description, uh, in our... Greg says to make sure you um, join Creating with Martelli group. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so type all that in. That he way just did. Okay. There's no, it's not a link, it's just information. So, um, I got to check and make sure that's engaged still. This got hung up a little bit. Let me see. I got hung up there for some reason. Of course, I told you guys because I had extra. Um, that was where the joint of my binding was. And you guys, we're, I'm at an odd angle to work at because of Sherry trying to film. So uh, sometimes I flip Oh, a you see happens. how this happens? It's going to be my fault Listen, if anything was, turns out not right. I was going right. to try to explain what a flip -a toy is to the people who don't know us. When we say, when anything goes wrong, when anything's not just quite right and a little mistake or a little mess up or whatever, we call it a flip -a toy. flip -a toy has many meanings. So, um, anyway, that was a little flip -a toy. Amy said she didn't think viewers could post this. I don't know what that means. I missed, maybe I missed something before she said that. I definitely will be watching your older videos. Thank you so much. I just started making quilts three years ago. I love Lucy. Oh. Well, that's great, Lucy. Um, maybe Christy knows. She knows more about YouTube than me, Amy says. Um, is she, Christy, is Christy on here, you guys? There's other things to push, but I'm afraid to disconnect you guys. We don't know this we, live. We don't know this live format yet. Um, this is literally our second time. We did a five minute one a while ago or whatever to do. Amy says, what are you trying to do, Amy? Okay, Amy and her can have that conversation. Basically, I wanna be able to see the comments like stay up on the um, screen. They go away really quick and I've already pushed um, that second button down when you do the live notifications. I mean, it might not be the same as they're looking at. Well, we when you push this, see, it says top chat, live chat, all messages are visible. Oh, okay. That's what I said. Maybe they're not being very active, too, or I don't know. Aye. See, this is what I was afraid of. Cancel. Cancel. So, as you see, this is very... You can very... do that from a computer, but not a phone, Sherry. Thank you, Christy. There's so many things that can be done on a computer and not a phone. I don't know why they haven't made an interface better or whatever they can do them, them computer Because geeks. who wants to hold a big iPad or uh, something while you're trying to film? I've literally tried a bunch of different ways to film myself but I need to figure out how to do that and be able to watch what you're doing. What I'm doing. That's the problem. I need to be able to see. Sherry can zoom in on things that I'm explaining. Maybe and you run the iPad on the stand to the side you can, so you can see. We thought of that too, but at the last But when minute, you're the one quilting trying to do it yourself, you can't do all that, Amy. That's what she's talking about. Being able to do it herself, but I mean, it can be done, but you can't watch and, and watch your quilt and everything at the same time. Yeah, it's not easy. You so. literally have to have better equipment and zoom in from, from the top to the thing and not in front of your face and, you know, that. Yeah. And we ain't you know, all high tech. Unless you guys get everyone to start watching our YouTube videos and... Amy says you need... It yes. really is a two-person job. Yes, Christy. It is. And, you know, that's what We'll Make Creations is all about. Because it ain't all about just that. It's just... If you use your iPad, you can see all the comments. 
Greg says. Okay. So next While time. doing a live, I don't know if he knows that information for sure. And I'm coming down. I'm going to push stop. I pushed stop when the, my needle was to the right, so it went to the left and finished. It locked stitched. Now I'm also pushing. I'm thinking I wouldn't want all those comments on the screen when I'm trying to see what I'm filming. Okay, Sherry wanted y'all to see the two, the see? two threads that happen when you push your scissor button. Yeah, we see it. Now. See it, and, you and just so cut you those just off. cut it off. You, of course, you don't cut the knot because right. then it's not going to stay. Defeating the purpose. <laughs> Okay, so we literally are on our last um, corner. Corner. And you're going to join. And what is going to happen here is I am going to form my corner, but I am not going to sew, start sewing yet. I'm going to form this. This is the important part, you guys, on joining your um, start and your finish together. So y'all remember, I'll try to turn it this way so you can see. Y'all remember the first, what, six, seven inches? I didn't... Um, Quilt. I didn't... I mean... I didn't uh, start stitching on this first six, seven, or eight... Six, seven inches, okay? So I formed my last corner. Now I'm going to bring it down here. I'm telling y'all, I'll never do this without bind, without uh, surging my quilt again. So I'm coming down through here. I'm going to meet up with this... This other one here, where I started, right? So I'm going to come down here and overlap that, right? Put it right on top. Put it right on top of there. Now, of course, I'm using black where you can't see anything. But in another video, I told you to do half and make a mark. But um, I have started... Doing the five eighths. I mean, it, I used to. Yeah, we oh, used to. Oh wait. Do... What are you doing? I don't know, but because now I'm, I've been doing it at three eighths, and it's been better. Yes, because I wanted it shorter. Yes. Okay. So I used to do uh, a half inch and and mark it here and cut it off, but I have noticed that I'm getting a little bit of puckering, like it's a little bit too big. So now I'm doing this three eighths. So if you can see this bottom part, I've overlapped this and I put my measuring tool right here. So it's three eighths and I'm gonna make a mark that I won't be able to see on the black hardly right there. Okay. You can see it. Can you? If you put it back down to where it was, see there's the mark. Yes, we see it. Okay. Yeah, right there. Yeah. So I am going to, so that was three eighths. I'm going to go and cut this just to the left of that line. The scissors, my scissors were just on the left of that line. Okay. So now I need to join these two pieces. Okay. I'm going to do it like this so it shows your. So you got this one coming down. Let me just put another clip right here so I can show. Okay, so you got this one coming down and this one going up. 